To make this kind of a film takes a lot of people. Um, I'm not going to thank them all. You will be glad to hear. Uh, but there, some have been working for very many, many years. Others have recently joined our project. But there are a number of foundations and contributors whose financial support I need to acknowledge and want to acknowledge, because without them, we wouldn't have been able to make the film. So Open University uh, has contributed to this project significantly. Uh, the IUCN, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, particularly uh, the National Committee of the Netherlands has been a supporter. The Rockefeller Foundation is a generous supporter. The Syngenta Foundation for Sustainable Agriculture and the World Bank have been tremendously supportive. So without them, we literally would not be here. What we're going to see is a story, and that was talked about in the summary, the importance of stories. It starts with John's work initially in China, exploring, researching, analyzing, documenting with video, and coming to understand across a myriad of disciplines the challenges, the opportunities, the complexities, and the fundamentals of what it takes to do ecosystem restoration at scale successfully. So John started this work 15 years ago, roughly, in China on the Los Plateau, and has since traveled the world documenting and carrying out this work. So it's, it's John's story, and John can tell us more about that when he comes up after the film, but it's a lot more than John's story, too. And you'll see that it's the story of people talking in their own words about how they've taken control of difficult situations and succeeding. It's a story also, in many respects, about time. Because it's about things that are going on now in the present, practical, real, demonstrably effective. But it sets them in a much broader necessary framework of geologic and evolutionary time and talks about how those forces are so important still to us today. And it's about the future in terms of what can be done and where we can get. <coughs> it's also the story of how we feed ourselves, how we grow our food, how we herd animals, and the implications of that for future generations. And last, but Perhaps mostly, most important, it's a story that's not just about the problems, it's about hope, it's about solutions that work, it's about inspiring. And if you all are as inspired watching it, which we hope you are, and we want to hear if you are or are not, as inspired as we were in making it, we would love to have deeper collaborations with the organizations that are here. We have now, I think it's 40 some odd organizations in 24 countries that are hosting facilitated stakeholder discussions and screenings of the film. We have an ambitious research, <laughs> documentation, best practices agenda. We would welcome the scholarship that exists in this room to help us with that. And we aim to incubate ecosystem restoration projects one on every continent except Antarctica in the next three years. We definitely need help with that one. So if you want to, we'd love to collaborate with you. And with that, the